It's going to go poke to poke in that mid lane against Ezreal as well. We are going to be taking a short break here as Champion Select counts down. Be sure to stay tuned as we go into game two of our second best of three here at the Intel Extreme Mass. have to gank it. And where is the Zen at? The Zen, the Zen needs to be camping that Soraka lane to put them in well, pressure. Kami's getting ganked in the mid lane. Teleport coming in. Kami's going to be the first blood here. Oh, Willy, he gets away on the side there. Meteos knocks up. Kami will go down eventually, but Meteos is in trouble here. CT is going to come around the side. He's going to try and flag and drag away. Oh, that will catch on towards him. He's going to go down eventually. The exhaust comes in. Leko now in Trouble. He gets the heal. Lemonation goes down. It's a two for one. Could they get another? High's going to get caught out. Flash on towards him. Laco very low. Around the side. Sneaky now coming in. Teleport from Balls. Everybody wants a piece of this one. Laco gets away. Here comes Balls. Flame Spitter running hard. Sneaky going to come away. laco has got nowhere to run. He's about to transform again. But Lacti joins the fight. He's on to high. In comes around. Certi on towards Sneaky. High taken so low. Balls comes back around with a Flame Spitter. And they will disengage. Oh, Ole is going to be the sacrificial Lama frames and it will be a two for two and Lactate will just dash into the dragon pit. Insane act choice here. But uh, I mean it might pay off if you get some early kills. I mean he's gonna be sitting here waiting for that counter game. Oh, very close to slamming balls against the wall there. Instead, they are going to jump on him. He manages to get his ultimate down. Is it going to be enough? No. He gets out, but in comes Meteos. He could get a clean sweep here. Sati has to fight this one. Liko's just leaving him to run. He will go down. And well, Meteos, he could have got a double. And Liko just whatsoever so i think there's an opportunity to push very aggressively and try and make a dragon play oh, Kami, oh, but straight away counted yeah cami thought he caught high out but instead medios once again in the right place at the right time very well be quick enough there's a screen orb they're not going to pay a visit to it so we'll be paying game and picking up the first dragon of the game and that will bring them back in there true shot barrage not enough damage on that one yet and pain gaming get themselves first dragon in the game. He fights and they know if they like drag it out the late game, their comp is, I would say, is a little bit better. Speaking of risky fights, it's a three-man dive in this top lane. Balls gets knocked into the tower. A lot of tower hits coming down. Is it going to be enough? No. The heel comes out. High clicks himself a kill, but Payne are trying to collapse on towards him as well. He do see Cami thought about that. He's got Medios there. So he thought about going across. Now they can both Valkyrie and slide in towards the Baron pit. Remember, no Baron until the 20th minute. Instead, we're going to see Sir T going down. Meteos was the one that locked him up with the Cataclysm. High, very low in the Baron pit. Will Liko focus on it? He's got the cover up. He will get taken <laughs> down by the Rock. Big slam on towards him. And Payne side there. They do manage to land the shot on towards him. Will there be enough? Will they tower dive? Teleport comes out. That's going to be Balls joining this party. He's going to force him away. Ole, you may get taken down here. Almost gets caught out by that ult. He does flash away. Instead, they turn this one back around. Flame spits are running. Lacti goes down. Sati trying to get one more hit onto Balls, but it's not enough. Does flash for it. Gets the kill. Now, Sneaky, could he be the focus target of Kami? But instead, High comes around the side. He can clean up here, but they're going to try and lock on towards him. It's a 3v1. Three talent strike works. There's the stun. He's going to come out of this one. Sati dodging for his life. One more shot. There it is. High picks up the kill. But here comes Leiko. Leiko in a 3-4v1. What is he doing? High's just cleaning up, picking up all of the kills. Tower had already gone down. We want at bay. They've still got a lot of hit points to go. Sneaky will finally join it. And they're actually going to get it just in time. Will they be able to steal it away? I don't think so. There's going to be the smite from Medios. And now they've taken down one. And Lemonation is dropped. Sneaky's taken low in the pit. And they're going to try and lock on towards him. Leko in trouble. Does manage to turn just into Nara at the last second. Sati's going to get focused. Medios comes around. He's going to get picked up by Sneaky. High actually trying to kite around here. Kami will not land the stun. May well be in trouble himself. True Shot Barrage completely missing. Goes across towards his top half of the jungle. Sneaky rushing up the river they're going straight face to face in the bush here so he's gonna jump it sneaky catches on towards he's gonna be able to jump away one more shot comes in oh the wish no not quite saving him as cami lands the shot now can they chase on i don't think they're gonna catch on Surprise, the summoner heal didn't actually get used right there either oh, help Lacti. dive Lacti. Oh, oh wow flash, flash just as that cataclysm came in oh, he's gonna finish him off though and they will get themselves a kill. The rest of Pain Gaming are coming around the back of them here. They're going to flank around Cloud9. Gonna... Team comp that we're seeing here. We haven't seen the big Wombo that I want to see yet. Oh, oh. high locked up. Is the Valkyrie going to be enough? So T's running into trouble and he's going to go down now. True Shot Barrage absolutely doing damage. And now Kami may pay the price. Turns around. Stun doesn't land. All is there with that ultimate if he really needs to heal Kami. But instead, with the rockets landing, the rest of Pain needs to defend this wave. And Cloud9, well, they're starting to pick off Pain Gaming every time they find them. 
Yeah, the one issue that this team comp has is because it's Soraka and it's a Jarvan. Who, oh, oh, hi, he's gone away. That's no, they've caught him with the rock, but Leiko may go a little too deep on this one. Ollie's going to come in. Is not really the ideal people. Doesn't manage to land the stun. In comes Lemonation. There's the heal. They're going to turn it back around. Leiko gets locked up. Nah turns into Mini now, and he's going to run away. Leiko, like the balls comes around. Teleport in there. Is it going to be enough onto Ollie? No! Sidesteps it! Oh, gonna get caught out by Sneaky. Now Leiko, he's gonna get sidestepped here. He's got the cover though of Sooty and Lacte. They're both around the side. In comes Kami as well. Balls may be the focus here. He's the front man. Sooty goes in. Has he got enough damage? No, he gets turned around. Sneaky catches on towards him. There's the lockup. The culling goes down, but it's not enough damage. Leiko waiting to turn back into Nara. Has he got the power? He's gonna go back on towards him. Can he get the slam? He can! High goes down! Medios will catch out towards him. It's a double for Sneaky as he chases on towards Kami. Kami's got a sidestep here. Sneaky can turn the damage back around. Suddenly the second buff for Cloud9. Of course, no more global gold in 420. Instead, it's the support that takes a peak and actually takes a hell of a lot of damage. Has to use his ultimate. He's not going to get away. Ole's going down. And that was... Just the support, just wanted to place a ward. Uh, well, but so much poke and the long range ability. Rangers trail blazer with a juggernaut and then a bunch of tankiness, and you have a Soraka. So if you can actually go oh, out. Oh, he's going to get him. Like, oh, oh God. good spy. Sniped. That was a unlucky. He didn't get a steal. Is it going to be Seraph getting the hit? So T comes in and picks him up. They may lose the tower from it. Leiko's gone back, but you can see just off the camera, Kami does get sniped down by Sneaky once again. Ball's in trouble. Medios comes sliding across. In comes Sneaky. True shot barrage landing. Medios getting the wombo down onto Ole. Ole sticking around for a long time, but instead, Ball's comes around. Medios gets himself one. So T running for his life, but he's never going to be able to escape Sneaky, who gets himself his eighth kill of the game and the tower to boot. Cloud Nine dominating this match now. Yeah, for that. that oh, is oh, Cloud9 setting up for this one. Surti running headlong into it, and that's a lockup quickly done by Cloud9. Payne just running away from this one. Medios in trouble, though. He could get taken down. Have they got enough damage here? Laxi suddenly finds himself surrounded by Cloud9 members of two members of Payne already down. There's the healing. It's just not enough. Laxi running. Sneaky's just going to arcane shift and finish off Laxi. There we go. Kami tries to fire off the stun, but now he's in trouble. Will High Valkyrie cross round the back? Will they try and jut dive around the side there? There's going to be the scrying orb. Sneaky coming around the side. Arcane shift on towards him. There's one hit onto Kami. Will not quite snipe him out like they want to. Balls goes deep. Straight on towards it. Ole in trouble. Is he taking too much tower damage? Sonya's hourglass. Sneaky trying to tank it. Oh, I, I never thought I'd hear Zera <laughs> farting on someone to kill him. But there I mean, we go. it's like blue I mean, that, energy farts. It's, yeah, it's like that's, lightning. That's powerful stuff. That's man. a big drag. Starts golf. We can see the ward goes down. They know that it's happening. They are close enough, but Lacti's a long way away from this fight. And oh! That oh, my God! Oh! A snipe from Kami sneaks the Baron out from under them. That should not be happening. And Say, I want to talk about oh, Cloud9 caught unawares. Teleport coming out. Balls fancies this one. High's going to come around. Are they going to land the Equalizer in a good position? Will it slow them down? Will it cut them off? I'm not too sure. There it is. Leko's the one. He's going to turn in towards that big Mega. Nah, that's a shutdown. That's going to be one down. Meteor's picked off and Sneaky manages to take down Sir T in response, but the rest of Cloud9 are fleeing here. Leko Sneaky quickly gets caught out. Culling Muse very early by Lacti, but they want this white. They're fight, going for this fight. That's going to be a good Howling Gale. They're going to be hot land enough damage. High getting poked up right on the side. Taking low, but he's not finished off. There's the equalizer now from Balls. That's a good equalizer. So T goes in. Sneaky caught out there. Meteor's taking low. So T will go down. Two shot barrage. Raids across there. Leko locked up. And now Cloud9 again kiting it back and forward. Lacti goes in. Gets himself one. Kami gets the shot down with the tank in the dragon at the same time. I'm not too sure they should have gone for this. They're going to try and finish it off on the side there. Dragon does take down Ole and Payne. What are they doing? They're chasing on Lacte. Oh, locked up by Medios. Sneaky gets himself the kill. Why on earth did they start that dragon off at the same time? God only knows. The ignite works for Kami. <laughs> he gets himself one of kill. Of course, the but flash now they ignite. The dragon. That's what it was for the entire time. <laughs> but actually, the dragon AoE, when it was attack attacking Lacte, managed to take out Ole, who was standing right next to him. And that should have been Payne's fight. Where it's like, <laughs> here died Zeref at Dragon Pit. Oh, so T's gone for this one. On towards Medios. Ball's taking a lot of the culling damage. Taken very low by Kami once again. It was Leko they were focused on. Leko comes around the side. Whoa! Ooh. True shot barrage! 
just wrecking Pain Game in Lico in trouble. He's going to go down, and Cloud9 just clean sweeping through Pain. They're locked up on the turret. They're going to go down. It will be an ace for Cloud9. The question is, who will pick up the kill? Sneaky gets a triple. He gets the quadra kill, and they can just push on through for the base. It's the mid lane they're going to go towards, and the ace for Cloud9. It's so easy when you fight in a choke. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to see the Wombo, Monty. I mean, Jarvan's not even involved in that. It looks just like all you need is Ezreal and Rumble. Well, 16 to 10 right now for Sneaky on Ezreal. It'll be interesting to see whether that gets banned because it's Alliance they may well be facing as they rush on through to try and close out this game. One Nexus turret goes down, the second will follow, and it's Cloud9 that reached the semi-finals, taking down Pain Gaming here at the Intel Extreme Masters San Jose. And that game, Cloud9 had moments of brilliance, but it seems like they're in a very uncharacteristic way to Cloud9, losing sight of the big picture of what they need to do to actually close out these games. And that's that's a more shaky Cloud9 than I am accustomed to seeing. I think a lot of that comes from High. Like, High has always been the voice where he's like, we're doing this, we're gonna do it here, we're gonna do it now. And there's no questioning it, they just do it instantly. And I maybe High's decision making is just a little bit faltered because, uh, I mean, people have been saying he's been having some problems in the mid lane, so maybe that is gonna also carry through to his shot calling. Just how big would that have been if Lacte hadn't hit that dragon, had have maybe finished off a couple of those people at the start, that was the dragon, it quickly snowballed from there and boom, game over. I, I think that fight was very dangerously close to going horribly wrong for Cloud9. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I think with some those positional errors that Pain made, but it was a good fight for them and they did exactly the right thing. Kami hit some great ults on the back line. Uh, High and uh, Sneaky were definitely too close together against the Zerath of that power level. You've got to make sure you're split up so that he can't just stack his damage on you like that. And... Uh, it, it, that game could have easily gone to pain at the end right there. Yeah, I'd have to agree with you there. Um, but, I mean, what, what the big thing there is they used all their summoners once they did have that dragon fight, and that's why Rumble looked for that ultimate in that choke. He's like, whoa, you have no flashes? Like, uh, all right, here you go. I'm just going <laughs> to drop this right on your face with an Ezreal, and uh, there you go. But something we should talk about, you know, Cloud9, first time we've seen them on the new patch since the World Championships, and double AD carry. Is it back? Well, I mean, they're they're clearly they've clearly been inspired by what SK Telecom was doing over in Korea. We do see very similar compositions. Yeah. I do really like the comps that they played today overall, uh, but I will see if they have anything else up their sleeve because they're going to be having to go against a much stronger opponent here in Alliance coming up in the next round. Well, what a fantastic match. Anything you see from this one? Obviously, they're going to be facing Alliance in the next round, as you just mentioned. Obviously, Alliance would have been watching that game. A lot of mistakes made. Yeah, that's actually not quite what I expected from Cloud9. I knew they were having some problems going into this, but I think if they play like this, they will, they're will they definitely going to be dropping games to Alliance, if not the whole set. Uh, it's going to be probably going to like the last game versus then. Yeah, I definitely think, I hope that we get to see some uh, Game 3s in these later series. Uh, we're very close, I think, to having a Game 3 here tonight uh, against in this last series that we just watched, but... Uh, We'll have to see if Alliance can take Cloud9 the distance, and Payne just fell a little short, I think. Well, thank you very much from the bench crew.